You know what Bluetooth speakers are missing? Fire. That's right, we've all been focused on the sound, but with the JBL Pulse line, it's no longer just about your ears, so feast your eyes on these. The JBL Pulse 4 and Pulse 5 portable Bluetooth speakers with killer lighting effects. In this review, I'll take a look at the two newest speakers in the JBL Pulse lineup, the JBL Pulse 4 and JBL Pulse 5. I'll talk about what they're like to set up and to use, what the lighting effects are like, how they sound, as well as how these two compare to each other and which one might be better for you. I'll wrap things up overall by telling you which one of these I would recommend for you and why. Let's start with the JBL Pulse 4. This version has a lot of the same features as the old Pulse 3 with a bit more refinement. It has a solid build and seems rugged with IPX7 waterproofing, allowing you to take this speaker with you to the lake or the beach without worrying about it getting wet. Though it is plastic, it feels like it could take a licking. The Pulse 4's dimensions are about 8 inches by 4 inches and it weighs just under 3 pounds, and this model offers 12 hours of battery life on a charge. Getting the speaker set up and paired to your phone or device is extremely easy and takes really just seconds. Just turn it on and it should likely already be in pairing mode, and if it's not, a quick touch of the Bluetooth button on here should jumpstart that process for you. From there, you can go directly to your phone's Bluetooth menu to connect directly to the speaker or download and use the JV. BL portable app. We'll talk about that app in just a second, by the way. For now, let's get straight to the goods, the sound quality. Yeah, the design of these speakers clearly shows they're designed to prioritize the light show and the overall party atmosphere over intricate sound. Because the entire cylinder of the speaker is wrapped in dense plastic, which covers those light effects, the only place you're getting audio is from the top. With that said, the speaker projects quite well and it does get really loud, but it does suffer from directionality since the only place you're getting that sound is from that narrow top opening. And that doesn't give you the same 360 degree sound as some other speakers. In case this isn't clear, if you're choosing something from the JBL Pulse lineup, it should be because you want decent sound plus plenty of loudness and lots of cool lighting effects, which we're gonna get to. The sound is actually pretty good. If you are looking for something that is super high fidelity or that can stand up to intricacies in music, you might want to keep hunting though. The last thing I'll say about the Pulse 4 for now is that aside from the fact I think the TV lights are making it really hard for you guys to see that this is actually on, uh, is that JBL did drop the speakerphone feature from the Pulse 4 because it nixed the microphone, which the Pulse 3 did have. But who's got time to answer their phone when they're busy having fun? Let's get to the JBL Pulse 5. JBL carried over pretty much all of the features from the 4, but added a few more. The new Pulse 5 has the same cylindrical design and a slightly bigger body here at about eight and a half by five by four inches and it comes in at a hefty 3.2 pounds. Now don't let the extra weight and bulk get you down because this one does come with several upgrades, most important of which is the addition of low latency Bluetooth 5.3 which does allow for multiple source devices to stream music. The low latency feature also allows it to serve as a great mono speaker alternative for movies and games using things like portable projectors or even your smartphone. You know it used to be mad love. JBL also improved the sound quality of the Pulse 5 giving it more accurate sound reproduction a wider range, and I think overall it's a nominally better sounding speaker than the 4. I can confirm from my testing that the speaker gets poundingly loud and still sounds good at those higher volumes. Even my husband came up from his office to see what I was testing that sounded so loud and so good. Now whether or not it actually sounds that much better than the Pulse 4 is up for debate, so I will simply say there's actually a good range in this speaker and it boasts both good bass and clear vocals, though it can be a little tinny sounding on some tracks. But as before, the light show and party boost are the headlining features on a speaker like this, and they're sure to grab the attention of anyone nearby. Now combine those features with the new IP67 rating, making the speaker not just waterproof, but also dustproof, and you've actually got a speaker that's pretty much made for all kinds of fun. 
I was rather surprised to find the JBL Pulse 5 didn't boost battery life. The 12 hours you get in here is the same as the original Pulse 3. I'm kind of shocked to find that though JBL did add more weight, heft, and bulk to this speaker, it wasn't at the expense of a bigger and better battery. The reason you're going to want to pick up one of these speakers is for the lighting effect. Under the thick plastic wrap is an array of lights that you can play with using the JBL app. And the Pulse 5 actually boasts more lighting and better options and toys than the Pulse for making it a much more worthy purchase. For starters, this light is dimmable and you can crank it up to a good brightness, so much so that as you've been seeing in this video, it'll actually compete with the TV lights in my studio. You can choose one single color, watch the lights burn like fire or bubble and morph like a lava lamp. There's special presets in this version, each of which have their own sub options, plus a custom button where you can take control. Not only that, the JBL Pulse 5 has a light in the bottom of the speaker, which throws out some cool effects. You can also use the app to play nature sounds to lull you to sleep. The big deal feature on these speakers should be the ability for you to pair multiple speakers together for even more powerful sound using what's called the JBL Party Boost feature. Now this feature allows multiple Party Boost enabled speakers to link up together for bigger, more area filling sound. Since I had both the JBL Pulse 4 and the Pulse 5 on hand for my testing, I tried to pair them together. Now, it didn't work the first couple of times I tried it, but after a few attempts, I was actually able to get them in sync. Let's do a quick head-to-head -head comparison. I'd say the lighting effects on both the Pulse 4 and Pulse 5 are pretty much identical, as is the overall build style and sound quality. Yes, there are some marginal improvements in the Pulse 5 here, but for my money, I actually think choosing a Pulse 4 would still give you most of the features that folks are actually looking for. The sound is pretty evenly matched to my ear, but the Pulse 5 does have some improvements. Plus, the lighting effects on the 5 are far more robust, and that makes it a fun choice all by itself. There are a few design differences from the 4 to the 5, most noticeably the logoing on the front and the placement of the buttons. The new Pulse 5 also boasts a small carrying strap in the back too, which is actually handy since the speaker is big and heavy and slippery. When it comes to battery life, the rate from the JBL Pulse 3 up to the JBL Pulse 5 hasn't grown. You're only getting 12 hours of battery life across the board. Interestingly, JBL has held the price from version 4 to version 5. Both the Pulse 4 and the Pulse 5 sell for $299 Canadian or $249 US. Normally I'd say just pick up the Pulse 4 and save a few bucks, but in this case, since the overall price is the same, you might as well size up to the Pulse 5 and get a really good upgrade for the same cash. Overall, I think these are both good speakers. The light show is what's bringing all the boys to the yard here, and I think that is the primary draw, as it should be. The lighting effects are fun and cool, and I could sit and stare at them for hours. It does seem like sound quality comes kind of second to the special effects, and that's okay since JBL does have other speakers that prioritize sound quality more so. The sound quality is decent on both speakers, and everyone aside from nerdy audiophiles will probably think it's just great. When it comes to the battery life, again, it's average and it hasn't been updated, but it will still get you through a full day or most of a weekend of intermittent listening. In short, I'd say go for the new Pulse 5 since it does offer more, but if you want to save a bit, I have actually seen the Pulse 4 on sale recently too. I can recommend both of them to you if you're looking for a party speaker in this space, but if you want high fidelity from a portable speaker, you can also check out my reviews of the Sonos Roam or the Bose Soundlink Flex, or stay in the light-up speaker sandbox and see what I think of Sony's party speakers right now.